Hey guys! Welcome back to the Unboxing Dito. December is finally here and it means ilang araw na lang Pasko na. So for today, I have something special for you para painitin ang malamig mong Pasko. The Infinix Hot 10. <music> My channel provides unboxing and reviews of all the hottest phones available today. So if you're new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon para ma-notify ka each time I upload ako ng bagong video. So after all that, let's proceed with the unboxing video. So this is another first for my channel, my first ever Infinix phone. Buksan na natin. Yon. So when you open the box, yung una mong makikita is the phone itself. Tabi muna natin. Next mong makikita is this white paper box kung saan nandiyan yung SIM ejector pin. Sa loob ng box, meron ko pang makikita ng freebie. Infinix and PUBG Mobile Surprise Redemption Code. Next, you'll find this paper works, itong free screen protector, and syempre, hindi mawawala yung favorite natin, free case. Sa bottom ng box, makikita natin itong white charging brick na medyo maliit lang. And syempre, hindi mawawala dyan yung partner niya na white charging cable. And lastly is this free headset na sobrang nakakatawa kasi mura na nga yung phone mo, may free headset ka pa. Well, to start off, this phone is officially priced at 6,990 pesos. But I got mine sa special launch price niya na 5,490 pesos. Sobrang sulit, di ba? But don't worry kasi they will be having another sale sa Lazada sa 12-12. So kung gusto nyo makatipid, do watch out for that. Ito yung mga key features niya. Helio G70 processor, 6.78 inch Infinity O display, 5200 mAh battery, and 16 MP quad camera. Now let's talk about the design and build ng phone. Surprisingly, kahit malaki yung screen size and battery niya, hindi siya ganun pabigat at 198 grams. Yung unit ko dito is 4 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage, and yung color niya is obsidian black. Meron ka pang 3 other color options, amber red, moonlight jade, and ocean wave. Yung sides and back panel niya is made out of plastic, kaya siguro hindi siya ganun kabigat. Sa bottom part ng phone, nakasulat yung hot and designed by Infinix. And at the center, may nakalagay din na Infinix. Sa upper left side ng back panel, nandyan yung quadruple camera setup and yung LED flash sa rectangular encasement. And just a bit lower is our fingerprint scanner. Let's try to unlock this phone gamit yung fingerprint natin. Okay, isa pa. So kung nakita nyo, sobrang bilis naman yung response rate nya. Yung top part ng phone is completely clean with no ports or any buttons. Sa left side naman, nandyan yung dual SIM card tray natin with extra slot for expandable memory. And sa right side natin, nandyan yung power button and yung volume rockers. At the bottom, nandyan yung speaker grill, micro USB port, microphone, and yung audio jack. Sa front panel natin, you will see that almost identical yung side and top bezels natin. Pero at the bottom, yung chin bezels nya is slightly larger than the usual. So, meron siyang super laking 6.78 IPS LCD panel. HD plus yung resolution with an 82.2 screen to body ratio. For the battery, meron siyang 5,200 mAh capacity. So, hindi mo kailangan magalala na madali siya malobat. Yun nga lang, micro USB lang yung charging port niya, kaya medyo matagal yung charging time. For its software, is running XOS version 7 based on Android 10. And para sa processor, meron siyang very capable na MediaTek Helio G17 of optimized na for gaming. So let us see kung paano magpe-perform si Infinix Hot 10 in this following benchmark test. For the Geekbench 5 score, our Infinix Hot 10 got a single core score of 383 and para sa multi-core score, 1330 naman yung nakuha niya. For the Slingshot Extreme test ni 3D Mark, our Infinix Hot 10 got an overall score of 1192. And sa Wildlife Stress test ni 3D Mark, Infinix Hot 10 got a stability score of 97.8 which is impressive given yung price range niya. And lastly, sa Antutu Benchmark, our Infinix Hot 10 got an overall score of 192,000. Yung Helio G70 series uses MediaTek Hyper Engine technology para ma-optimize niya yung phone mo for a smoother gaming experience. So, ano nga ba yung real-world translation ng mga sinabi ko? Tingnan natin yan in this gaming test. So here is the graphics settings that we will be using for Mobile Legends. All of the options including outline, HD mode, and shadows are on. Graphics settings is currently set at high and yung ultra settings is temporarily unavailable pero in the future updates for sure magkakaroon naman yan. Another good thing about this phone is yung punch hole camera niya is located here. So pag 
hawak mo yung phone mo ng ganito, hindi siya nakaka-obstruct sa gaming mo. Another minor issue is that yung speaker grill niya is located sa baba. So, pag hawak mo yung phone mo ng paganito, may chance na matakpan mo yung speaker grill. So, far smooth naman yung experience ko in terms of gameplay using this phone. And wala naman akong mga connection issues na na-experience. Well, for me personally, masasabi ko is mas nakahaga na maglaro pag manaki yung screen na ginagamit mo kasi kitang kita mo lahat yung nangyayari. Yung karakter na kinokontrol mo, yung mga kalaban, yung mga minions, lahat. So, mas may enjoy mo yung game pagka, syempre, nakikita mo yung lahat ng nangyayari. Well, one great thing about this phone is kahit maraming hero or champion sa screen, hindi siya naglalag. Ibig sabihin na handle niya perfectly yung graphic demands ng game. Well, the game is running for almost 18 minutes now and wala namang napapansin na mainit sa back part ng phone. Ibig sabihin, maganda yung thermal management niya. For Call of Duty Mobile, eto yung graphic settings na gagamitin natin. For graphic quality, we are set at medium and for frame rate, we are set at high. So now we'll be playing Call of Duty Mobile using our Infinix Hot 10. Similar sa experience natin kay Mobile Legends, mas na-appreciate natin yung game kasi nga mas malaki yung screen natin. Yung screen resolution is not the sharpest but forgivable naman dahil sa price point niya. Well, so far okay naman yung experience natin sa phone na to. When panning the camera, wala naman ang magiging issues. Yung connection so far is okay din. Wala tayong network connection issues na na-experience. Well, isa sa mga selling points ng phone na to ay yung pagkakaroon niya ng malaking screen. Eh, yung maganda dito eh, kahit malaki yung screen niya, hindi siya ganun kahirap hawakan sa kamay. For its speaker system, let's try out yung loudness and audio quality with our YouTube playback. Hey guys, welcome back to the Unboxing Tips. For the past week, hinanap ko talaga tong phone na to mula sa Fairview, nakatingin ako sa Mandaluyong, hanggang sa Pasay, wala akong makita. Pero kanina, sinuerte ako, kaya finally, I have the Techno Spark 6. <laughs> For its main camera, the Infinix Hot 10 has a quadruple camera setup with a 16MP main camera, 2MP macro sensor, 2MP depth camera, and QVGA low light sensor. For its selfie camera, meron siyang punch hole design with 8 megapixel camera sensors that can shoot 1080p videos at 30fps. So to show you yung camera capabilities ni Infinix Hot 10, tingnan natin yung mga camera samples. So my final thoughts on the Infinix Hot 10. In terms of display size, yung 6.78 inch panel niya is on par na with ultra and pro versions ng phones from other companies. And alam naman natin na yung mga phones na yun ay usually nagkakahalaga from 35 to 50,000 pesos. So pagdating sa display size, 
panalo ka na. Pero yung image quality and resolution, eksakto lang para sa price niya. When it comes to battery, mga gaming phones lang karaniwan ang merong 5,200 mAh capacity. Pero meron din yan si Infinix Hub 10. Ang downside lang, medyo matagal yung charging time kasi micro USB lang yung gamit niya. Pagating naman sa gaming, yung mga mainstream games, kayang-kaya niyang i-handle. At dahil malaki yung screen niya and battery, mas may enjoy mo yung mga games mo. You just need to lower graphic settings for high demanding games like Genshin Impact for it to run smoothly. Pero understandable naman yun for phones at this price point. With phones at this price point, you could still achieve good quality photos with creativity and proper lighting. So if you're looking for a budget friendly phone with a huge battery and large display, then you should consider the Infinix Hot 10. So if you have comments and suggestions for our next video, just hit me up in the comments down below and I'll make sure to reply. So that's the end of our video and I hope nagustuhan nyo. Thumbs up plus, thumbs up mas. I'm the unboxing Tito and I will see you next time.